utopian focus. The biointelligence explosion. Homo sapiens, the first truly free species, is about to decommission natural selection, the force that made us. Soon we must look deep within ourselves and decide what we wish to become. Quote, Edward O. Wilson, Consilience, the Unity of Knowledge. The problem for sentient creatures is that, both personally and collectively, Darwinian life is not very smart or successful in its efforts to achieve long-lasting well-being. By a whole raft of indices, such as suicide rates, the prevalence of clinical depression and anxiety disorders, the Easterlin paradox, etc., humans are not getting any un- or happier on average than our Paleolithic ancestors, despite huge technological progress. Evolution sabotages human efforts to improve our subjective well-being thanks to our genetically constrained hedonic treadmill, the complicated web of negative feedback mechanisms in the brain that stimulates our efforts to be durably happy at every turn. Discontent, jealousy, anxiety, periodic low mood and perpetual striving for more were fitness enhancing in the ancient environment of evolutionary adaptedness. Lifelong bliss wasn't harder for information-bearing self-replicators to encode. Rather, lifelong bliss was genetically maladaptive and hence selected against. Only now can biotechnology remedy organic life's innate design flaw. If the history of futurology is any guide, the future will confound us all. Yet in the words of Alan Kay, quote, it's easier to invent the future than to predict it. Unquote. By David Pierce, The Biointelligence Explosion.